you log in tomorrow and your login credentials doesn't work and just like that in a blink of an eye you are terminated from your job doesn't matter how big of a project you were handling what big of a title you had can it happen to you absolutely it can happen to me it can happen to you any time any moment so are you ready for that kind of situation in your life if not then watch this video carefully because it can really help you save your mental sanity when this thing actually happens with you let's get started number one prepare yourself for this situation yes you heard it right not for any promotion not for any another bigger project but first prepare yourself for this moment and you have to literally ask yourself now only if this happens at this very moment with you are you ready what will be your action plan how you will you sustain yourself and your lifestyle and how you support your family if you do not have answer to any of that then please slow down Take a weekend and try to figure out answers to all these questions and while answering these questions you realize that you have nothing at all to support you in these difficult scenarios then right away without wasting any moment work on preparing a backup for yourself. It doesn't matter how you do it, how you earn money, what next job you plan is it a small job big job doesn't matter but prepare for it prepare a backup plan for yourself for at least eight months of unemployment because you never know how much time it takes you to reach your next income source so it's the best that you have the action plan already in your hand so that when the situation hits you you doesn't go out of your mind and your health is not impacted in a big way number two understand that it's not about you I know these days people are getting used to the fact that companies are laying off because they are running out of business or several reasons but still somewhere we all think that why my name is on the list and why that other colleague's name is not on the list. It's not that everybody got laid off then why my name is on the list. So as a HR I'm telling you that do not take it personally. It has absolutely nothing to do with you. It has absolutely nothing to do with your performance. It has n absolutely nothing to do with your attitude towards work or behavior or what not it is not about you it's purely about business you yet do not know why that team didn't get fired and why your team is getting fired there's some story behind it that you are not yet aware of do not let it impact your abilities to do something else in life or to find another job or to do something else or it's not worth even a single minute spending on the thought that you know you did something wrong or it was because of some thing that you said that you did on the work that led to this situation no it is not it is not related to you move on do not take it on your ego do not take it on your heart this was just another thing it was just another job it just got to its end and you have to move on another thing that you have to do is educate your loved ones and people around you basically whose feedback words matter to you educate those people about layoffs and how they happen in the industry now why they have to understand all of this the important reason is because when you share the news of layoff with your loved ones maybe your parents friends family or whoever matters to you basically they are going to react in a certain way some might understand some might blame it on you so that will play very negative on your mindset at that moment because you are already going through the trauma of being laid off on top of that you cannot afford to hear negative comments negative statements especially from the people whom you love or trust so they sometimes uh, people around us are just not familiar with how things work in the industry it's not that they do not want to believe on us it's simply that they do not understand maybe in their mind it's always your performance is the decision factor for somebody's promotion or somebody's demotion or termination because they have seen the life that way but you and i know that in it industry things doesn't happen like that and layoffs are a very normal thing it's getting more and more normal in recent times even in 2024 thousands of people got laid off companies i know a company which laid off its 17 percent uh, workforce so can you imagine 17 percent of its employees that's a huge number and a lot of people's life get impacted by that so it's very important that on and off you keep sharing things regarding layoffs promotion demotion and educate them how 
these things happen in IT industry so that by the time situation happens to you, they are prepared, they have heard it, they are mentally able to digest the news and they should know that you have a plan B. So in that case, they will also not be so worried like, you know, what will happen next, how our family will sustain. So you educate them about the layoffs and you also educate them that you are prepared and you have a plan B and it may not be giving you as much salary as your job, but you guys are secured. So that comfort blanket will help you all a lot to go through that tough time because these days, guys, you won't believe it's not even funny how many cases are coming in media about people who are ruining their life because of anxiety issues, depression and mental health issues. So, so be aware and prepare yourself beforehand a security blanket so that you and your family doesn't get impacted negatively. Next thing is be very thorough with your entitlements. When usually layoff happens, they give some kind of monetary benefit with it. I mean, obviously that cannot replace a job, but still there is some monetary blanket that you get for a month or two or maybe three months. Some companies even go beyond and they do for six months, six months of pay. They give you in advance and they might keep you on health benefits. They were providing for another six months. Now, some companies does that and some companies do not. So, so be very mindful of your entitlements and go through the entire process as per the company's expectations. They will convey you the process and everything that needs to be done to get those entitlements because for sure there will be some forms to fill, some agreements to sign, all of that stuff. So do not behave cranky or lazy in that scenario. I know guys, it's really frustrating at that time. You do not feel like going through tedious processes of signing the documents and all of that stuff, but it's very important. So I request you to be aware of your entitlements, no matter what has been conveyed to you, what kind of process has been conveyed to you, whether it sounds simple or it sounds really complex, do not delay in doing all those processes so that you get your entitlement entitlements on time and there is no hiccup because say for example if company is extending your health insurance for a few months so if there is a process associated with it if you do not follow it maybe your name is not in the list when it reaches the health insurance provider for the next six months and if, and unfortunately if something goes wrong and at that point you get to know that because you didn't do certain process you are now not eligible for that coverage so that will be a really bad situation so instead whatever has been conveyed to you just go through that peacefully that's the only way next is health insurance for your family now if you are associated with a company which is providing a broad coverage for your family and especially for your parents then the first step is that you must get your parents an extra health insurance coverage that is non-negotiable because if you start that insurance now when you still are in your job you are getting your income it will be easy to build up that uh, health insurance because market health insurance have a uh, waiting period and all of that stuff if you start it then when you lose your job you already are in a situation when you do not have coverage financial coverage for your family and on top of that if you try to buy a health insurance which is again very costly most of the time so it will feel like an extra burden so to have that extra peace in that difficult time make sure that you already have an extra health coverage for your parents for your family for yourself even if it is for a small amount it's still worth it next is do not leave on a bitter note this i've seen myself that at the time when people get to know about the layoffs or their termination, they take it really personally and then they behave crazy. I really understand that. I mean, you are in that frustration, you get angry and, and taking out that anger sounds the fair way because at least you think in your mind that at least I should be allowed to take out my frustration on the person who's terminating me. All of that is fine, guys, but that frustration, showing that frustration, anger will not take you anywhere. You never know the person who communicated to you that you are terminated, your manager or the HR, that person gets terminated after 10 days after you. There's no point because it's not about you and it's not about them as well. They also cannot do anything about it. If you try to beg them that please do something, I have financial liabilities, I cannot get terminated at this point all of that stuff and then they do not come out with a positive news or positive outcome you get even more frustrated that they didn't understand you or they didn't agree to your request they cannot just understand that they cannot nothing is in their hands so do not take out that frustration that anger on the person in front of you do not ruin your relationship because you never know those people go somewhere else and they join somewhere else if you are in still good terms with them they can hire you there because they know that you are also terminated from the company so you must be in the need of job so do not ruin the rapport that you have built with so much efforts 
and next point on the list is my personal favorite one because it has changed my life so much and that is detach yourself from your job title detach your identity do not identify yourself as that program manager as that software developer as that specialist as that hr it's very important why it is important because because this identity tells your mind that you can earn your living you can earn money only by being that job title in a company only by being a software developer only by being a hr if there are 100 other things in front of you you will not pick that why because it's an insult for the image that you have created for yourself but guys earning a living is just earning a living it has nothing to do with your worth with who you are if you're already working in a company that means you already have so much potential so much capabilities you already have so many skills so it's not just a single venue where you can execute your skills there are so many other ways and you will only see them once you detach yourself from that identity of being whatever that job title is so if you want to become a peaceful person and you want to become a person who is not much affected by situations like these layoffs you must detach yourself from all those identities and you will see that life is not as difficult as it seems to be and last thing on the list is your income should not be only coming from one job if that is your reality at this point it's okay but work on changing it right away you cannot depend on only one job that you're doing there must be something else something on the side that is funding your lifestyle that is giving you some income even if it is small right now doesn't matter it can grow later but you have to figure out something some passive income or some income that is generated through investment or whatever there are endless possibilities make sure that there is some money that you're getting from somewhere else so if you go through all these points and you really implement these in your life you'll find that you're really comfortable with such situations even if it happens in your life the layoffs you'll not be shaken your life will not turn upside down if that thing happens you will have a plan you'll know what next and you'll not let this kind of situation impact your mental and physical health so with that let's quickly take a look at the summary of today's video i really hope that it helps you somewhere in your career with that i'm signing off you keep on watching more content on the corporate diaries to be corporate ready and i'll see you in my next one till then stay safe and healthy take care bye